Hello viewers, welcome back. I guess it will be great as makers to create our own PLC from an Arduino and open PLC. In my up and coming videos, I will walk you step by step how to create an Arduino PLC and program it using open PLC editor. However, in this video, I will show you how to slave an Arduino with open PLC. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell so that you always be notified whenever I upload new video. Kindly give me a thumbs up if you are really benefiting from this tutorial series. In our previous tutorial, we use the Arduino with Open PLC to program a simple direct online logics. In this tutorial, we will be using the Arduino as a slave and then we will be using the window runtime. To do this, we go to the documentation to have a look. Okay, so in the documentation, if I go to the Open PLC runtime, we can see that we can have slave devices right here, which is 2.6. I click on it. And then under the slave device, we can scroll down and then we can see adding Arduino compatible boards as slave devices. So to be able to do this, you need to first create a blank project that you download onto the Arduino board. In the old version of the Open PLC software, you always have an Arduino sketch that comes with the downloaded software that you need to download onto the board. But with the newer version, you only create a blank project and then download this blank project onto the Arduino board using the Open PLC editor. To achieve this, there's two ways. You can either download the blank project from the website using this particular link or you create it yourself. Makers as we are, we would like to use the latter. Let's open the open PLC editor and then create our blank project. Okay, so to create the projects, we go to file and then we go to new and then at new, we need to create a folder. So we right click and then we create a new folder and then this can be our blank test underscore project select this pro folder and then i click on select folder give it a name this is our blank underscore test underscore p and then we select the language we we'll use ladder and then we click ok i click on the variable so this is basically a dummy project so so this is my dummy in i add the next one and then this is my dummy output out and then i create the logic I select a rank, left rank with one. I bring in a contact, normally open, and then this is my dummy in, and then I click on OK, align it, select a quail, it's a normal quail, and this is going to be my dummy out. I click OK, align it. I select my right rank, I join them quickly. Okay, great. So it's done, I can then compile. Okay, so compilation is successful. We can then download this blank project into the Arduino. So we click on the Arduino icon. So you insert your Arduino board to confirm the port. My own is COM4 and then my Arduino board is an Arduino Uno. And then I need to select the Modbus Syria because we'll be using Modbus at the Syria interface with the open PLC window runtime. So with all this selected, I can then click on the upload to download the program into the Arduino board. Remember, if this is your first time, it will take some time. So you have to relax. So the download is done so i will click on cancel now our blank program is now on our arduino board so we can save the arduino now the next is to create the program that we will download onto the window runtime program okay and to do this we need to create a new project yes let me save changes for this so this is going to be our window runtime test so i create a folder window runtime test select this folder and then i say okay project name window runtime test program still program and then i select language ladder and then i click on okay great 
so for our test circuit we are going to use the same direct online circuit that we used in our previous tutorial so the wiring is basically going to be the same wiring and then the arrangement on the breadboard being the same okay so we will write the program quickly okay so we enter the variables quickly so for that one our first is a push button one local class and then the type and then the address for the addressing it will change a bit so let's look at how the addressing is done okay so for the slave device the address starts from 100 remember when we were doing the previous one where we were downloading directly onto the Arduino board we were using the 0.0, .0 as the addressing but with the slave device because we'll be using Modbus the address starts from 100 so 100.0 will map up to 0.0, .0 on our physical board so we go back to the editor okay so we key in the address quickly percent ix 100.0 remember it's supposed to be caps is case sensitive so ix in caps and then they are added in this one which is our push button 2 which is 100.1 .1, which is correct I added in this one and this is going to be our lead not push button 3 so lead and this is going to be output which is q 100.0 okay so with our variable defined we need to write the program now okay so with our program done we can test run it quickly so we click on the simulation to start the plc okay started successfully so we put on the goggles okay so if i force close this particular push button we can see our output coming on force it off the output still stays on and then when i click on the stop push button it goes off and then force it back to true okay so our program worked correctly so I can now leave the sim stop the simulator and then the next thing to do is to compile this program so that we get a hex file or let's say a program that we will download into the window runtime project to do this we need to click on the generate program for open PLC runtime so we click on this okay so we can select which point we need to we want to save this particular project okay so i give the project a name and then i can save it so it can be my window runtime test the same name and i click on save so this is saved correctly so we are done with our program now the next is for us to go to the window runtime and then do a configuration to make it with uh, the arduino board okay so to do this we start the open plc window runtime okay we can see that it started and it's running on this particular P pc so on port 8080 localhost i can minimize this one and then open the browser and then type localhost localhost port 8080 password username is open plc password is open plc okay so our window runtime program is open now the first thing we need to do is to add the slave device configure the slave device so we click on the slave device and then we add we click on the add new device okay so we can give it a name so our window runtime test and then we are using nano so i'll say nano but you can give it any name we are using arduino uno slave id is zero we need to specify the port in my case my port is com4 the board rate is 115200 priority bits none and then we have the stop bits 
and then the others they remain the same and we can see that our input is described here from 0 to 5 and then output from 0 to 4 and then we have our analog input all specified for us now so we click on the save device to save it and we can see that our slave device is created now the next is to now create the program and then download the program we created in the editor okay so i need to open the program that we just uh, created in the editor so i go to choose file and then i need to navigate to where i save the program i have to go to c okay so i go to users look for open plc editor okay so this is the project so i select it and then i click on open and then i can click on upload program you can give it a program name window runtime underscore test everything then remain the same and then you click on upload program it will start compiling okay so compilation is finished and then it's successful so i click on go to dashboard and then we are on the dashboard now so basically our arduino is connected to our computer now and then we have loaded the program that we wrote that is the direct online program onto the window runtime interface we can now start the plc so we click on start to start the plc we can see that plc is running and then we can go to monitor so that we can monitor the arduino pins so we can see that all the variables that we created are displayed here now that we can monitor whenever we press to see whether it will come on okay so i click on the start and we can see the start came on and then the output is on as well we can monitor it right on our pc i click on the stop you can see the stop came on the output is off So basically we've been able to use the Arduino as a mod bus sleeve and then being, we've been able to monitor the inputs and output pins on the open PLC window runtime software. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.